Let's now tell you about how the Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to profit massively from Africa's gold amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Once again, the spotlight falling on the notorious Wagner Group, a private military company with deep ties to the Kremlin. According to the Blood Gold Report released this month, the Blood Report is a program launched in September to investigate links between Western mining companies, African authoritarian governments and Wagner mercenaries. And since the invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Russian government has raked in over $2.5 billion from the African gold trade. The Wagner Group, known for its military and paramilitary operations, has gained exclusive rights to the mine in the Central African Republic, supporting an authoritarian regime there. Beyond the CAR, Wagner has also taken control of a major gold refinery in Sudan, becoming a dominant buyer of unprocessed gold. Reports indicate that Russian military planes have been smuggling gold out of Sudan, furthering the Kremlin's economic interests. The report highlights complex smuggling routes and corporate subterfuge used to move large quantities of blood gold from Africa to Russia and the UAE. In Mali, Wagner forces now paid in cash by the military junta are critical in maintaining the junta's control. This gold, often mined by Western companies, is laundered into international markets, indirectly financing Russia's global campaigns. Following uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin's death, Wagner is now fully controlled by the Russian military, playing a major role in Ukraine and Africa. And as we dig deeper into the Wagner Group's operations, it becomes evident that their activities are not just about gold, they are about extending Russia's geopolitical influence. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the updates on the move.